Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to provision data catalog. And once we provision the data catalog, I'm going to show you how to register data assets into it and discover data assets. And finally, look into the data that is stored in the data asset. Okay, so first of all, let's get started. Click on this. I'm going to provide this link in the resource section of this lecture. You can get it from there. And if you come down here, first thing you need to do is to provide data catalog name. And subscription is Azure Trainings Catalog Location North Europe. By the way, there can be only one catalog per tenant. However, you need to deploy this data catalog into one of the subscriptions for resource management and billing management purposes. Okay, pricing, you have two options. I'm going to go for free. And catalog users, in case if you want to add catalog users, here you can add it. And administrators also you can add. And once you've done everything, click on create catalog. Now catalog has been successfully created. In order to view that catalog, you can go to Azure portal and just refresh this. You can see a resource group that got created for catalog and you can click on Rudra catalog. Okay, so this is how also you can view the catalog. Now go back. Now there are two ways you can publish the data into catalog, i.e. register data assets. One is you can use desktop application and the second is manual entry. My recommendation is go for application because creating manual entries is often a tedious task. So let's launch application now. And install this. Let's run this. Now, once it is successfully installed, we need to sign in. Let's sign in. Let's sign in. And click on verify. Now we need to select a data source from where you want to register data assets. So click on SQL Server and then we need to get the server name. Let's copy this. Okay, and authentication, SQL Server authentication, I'm going to select to keep it simple. And database, it's Rudra database, I think, yeah. So let's copy this. Okay, and then connect. Now we can go into database, look for the tables, and you can register all these data sets into data catalog if you want. So I'm going to copy everything and register. Okay, now the registration is complete. Now we need to search for them, i.e. discover the data assets. In order to do that, go into your data catalog and open the data catalog portal. By the way, you can do here also, like click on view portal, but I'm doing in this way. Now let's search for address. Okay. See, we have two data assets, address and customer address. Okay. And if you want to go into details, you can go into it. And here you will be able to annotate data assets. So for example, you can give friendly name, description, who is the expert related to this data asset and you can tag them, all the connection information you have here, and you click on it, you can be able to view the preview, but it is not included. And column names, for each column, you will be able to provide description and tag them also. So sometimes business users would like to know what particular data attribute is all about and where it is located. In that case, these descriptions and tags will allow them to easily search for a particular column or a particular data attribute, okay? And documentation, in case if you want to add documentation related to this data asset, 
you can do that and if you want to open this then you can open in excel you know power bi desktop and so on i want to show you opening in power bi desktop in order to do that i'm going into windows server here sorry for this let me search for address i should have searched here itself and open in power bi desktop let's open this so basically users can immediately see the data within the data asset so it's as simple as that they don't need to go to the underlying database and look into it they can easily search from here so click on it apply changes there you go you can see the address information stored within there okay so that's it for this lab in this lab i have shown you how to provision data catalog and register data assets into it and discover the data asset and also look into the data that is stored in the data asset i hope you find this lab useful